everybody, it's Dean DaCosta, The Search Authority. Here, I want to show you guys something really, 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 really cool. I've been playing with it to see how accurate it is. I'm finding it's really good. So, everybody wants personal emails. And a lot of times, you can't find them. And so, you settle for work emails. But, you see, the work emails can be the um, gatekeeper to the personal emails. And a lot of people don't realize that. So, I'm going to use Swordfish as my example because it's just phenomenal. Um, and it has a search capability. You can search based on social site, on name, name location, U.S. phone. And what I'm going to do, and I'm going to be doing a series of these on Swordfish, and this is going to be the one for email. I'm going to come over to the email. I'm going to pop in a work email for somebody. So I popped it in. It's a work. I went down here and I decided what I want, mobile, any phone, email, any email or phone. I want this because I'd like anything. Just give me what you got. You know how that goes. So I'm going to put search. And I'm going to let it search. I know I said search. Something I do with my granddaughter. She's four. We play with words. Anyway, so here we go. Blah, 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 and boom. Look what we get. Now, let's think about this. We get where she lives, her title, company, phone numbers. We get one, two, three, three personal emails and two past work emails. And the original email is right there. Look at all that info that you get. All of it, just from a work email. That's how simple this is. So those of you who are like, well, work emails suck. No, they don't. Work emails is a piece of data that can be used to find more. And that's what this tool allows you to do. And there are other tools that can do it, but this is probably the best of the bunch. But there are other tools that can do the same exact thing. Here you go. So like I said, I'm going to do a series. We just did the email, so eventually what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use social site. Name's obvious. We're probably not going to do that. Name and location, probably not. Full U.S. address, maybe. Phone, yes, and social. Those will be the ones I'll probably show in a series so that you could sit, you could sit there and say, wow, even if all I do is have their URL, I can still find them. If all I have is their phone number, I can still find them. It's going to be fun, but, you know, we're not going to do one. You know, it's going to be spread out over time. Next month, we'll do one next month. But anyway, long story short, that, that's the key here, guys. Even work emails can lead to more. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's a place that says add to list. Yes, you can actually create a list. That means, theoretically speaking, you could legitimately just go ahead and put in a bunch of work emails from a particular company and get all the info on them. Boom, there you go. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is, do you know you can enrich your current list in bulk? See how? File upload. Now imagine all I had was work emails. Imagine what I would get. I would get all of the information that I needed. Um, I've done a few already, actually. I've tested a few. And now I know I can just upload work emails into the work. Think about that for a minute. Work emails. That means if I have a tool where I go on a site and it gets me a bunch of work emails from, say, Apple, I can now put them all in a CSV, upload them to Swordfish, and Swordfish will use that work email to find everything else for me. That's kind of unique. Not a lot of sites use work emails as their basis. This tool is capable of. So, long story short, my name is Dean Scott's Search Story. This is Swordfish and the how to use work emails to find more. May Source be with you.